Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Drag Me Out! Today we have, obviously, another special guest from Broadway. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Aladdin's Telly Long! Oh my gosh, I'm so I excited. I have a seat. I have an apron on? I'm you excited. You have an apron on, you're branded, you're officially in the house of Aventura. <laughs> yes! I have no idea what's gonna happen and I'm really excited about that. I'm... I think I do what's gonna happen. I think I know what's gonna happen. But Telly and I actually not, met not too long ago. Yeah. But I've known of you. I've known of you. And, okay, so there you go. Yeah. Um, many, many drunken nights at the help. At the help, and but at Barracuda one night, <sighs> I played the Jasmine <laughs> to his Aladdin. That was fun. Insert video. <laughs> Um, so today we're gonna turn you into a drag queen. However, he has done drag before. Yes, but theater drag, so yeah, it's, not, it's the not the same. So, you know, that angel quick drag is fast. Yeah, angel from rent. Angel from rent, years. really fast. I mean, it's really like fast. you slap it on, and then like you sweat it, and you know, by the end of today for you, you're like, the bra was this, and the hair was here, I and know. then it's just different. And then um, I did yeah, End actually, Butterfly. Oh, that was, that okay. was the one where I sort of had to really, really do it. But that was very specific. Very specific. It was. Geisha. Yes, right? and like very Chinese opera, like period. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've actually, I'm not, I didn't do Man and Butterfly, but I did do Angel, so mm. we have that in common. So, we're gonna go into uh, what your drag is gonna be. Obviously, we are honoring your heritage. Yes. Uh, but we are also going into classic Hollywood, so we're going to be going into the anime Wongs, Dating Wong, that traditional Hollywood Chinese look, but then upgrading it and bringing it to the 21st century. Yeah, I um, I love sort of the San Francisco Forbidden City, like Chinatown nightclub right. idea, yes, 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 like yes. a smoky nightclub. So mm -hmm. I, I, I think that'd be really fun to explore that, that person. And inside. then bringing it to the Rainbow Room in New York City. That's right. Um, and then we're also going to be Joey Arias, classic NYC drag, but she's very, if you guys have ever seen Joey Arias, she's done, um, Humanity, which I think is the perfect embodiment if we're combining Telly with this new drag persona and cabaret singer. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I think we're ready. Are you ready? I'm so ready. We're gonna have to cover everything. Mm hmm. Because we don't want that hair popping out. Ugh. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> so, your ethnic background, you're Chinese. I'm Chinese. Right, and where were you, where'd you grow up? Well, I grew up in uh, New York. I'm born and raised here, but oh, my, really? my, yeah, my parents actually, um, my parents grew up in China, during communist China. Oh, honey. And so, like, they grew up in the 60s, and they, um, they were able to go to, they were like living in the south part of China, called Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. and, and at the time, Hong Kong was a British commonwealth. Okay. So they um, swam. They swam seven hours from China to Hong Kong. No. They swam. Which is like something that when they talk about it, they don't even think about. They don't even like say it's like a big deal. They're like, oh yeah, we swam. Everybody swam. We wanted to get out. So I was like, uh, what? You swam? Whenever I tell the story to people, they're like, your parents swam? And I was like, yeah. And they don't think it's a big deal. It's just like one of those stories that they, I remember them telling me as a little kid, like, you know, well, when I was young, I had to walk, you know, walk to school with no shoes on, five miles. And their story to me was always, well, when I was your age, I swam to freedom in a, to, a, to you know, to Hong Kong. Okay, but see, <laughs> I, our crazy. minds would be like, did they train for this? <laughs> I know, did they no. swim, like, at the local pool? Well, they actually, they did secretly train. So the okay, kids were, okay, like, okay, at good. the pool. But they, they, like, the con they were not telling the government you know, that they were secretly at the you well, know, local of YMCA. Of course. Swimming in the pool for but, hours for that reason. Well, you but. can't just go from one day to another and be like, I'm doing it. Yeah. No, how did you encounter ARCs then? Uh, when I was a little kid, they didn't let me watch cartoons after school. I was only allowed to watch educational TV, which meant I watched a lot of PBS. Of course. But, okay. but of course, I was watching PBS and one afternoon I watched great performances. Of course. And it's Into the Woods. Oh. With Bernadette Peters and Joanna Gleason and Bernadette, Bernadette Peters, Peters. <laughs> and um, and I and that was it. Eight years old. All right. 
Ooh, you know, you have really good cheeks. Oh, thanks. We're gonna chisel those bitches out. Alright, you don't even look like the same person anymore. I feel like now I sort of know what I'd look like if I lost all my hair. I know, but look at those cheekbones. I didn't even have to do much work. Those cheekbones are just out there. They're giving me Kimura. Kimura Lee. Um, Kimura Lee. Lee. So sad. I know. So sad. First one off. First one off. I. It's interesting. I was watching. Uh, I actually really liked Kimura. First of all, she's stunning. Stunningly beautiful. And I also have to. I mean, the old school, you know, show. Show, show my sexual and me loves it. She wore an actual Bob Mackie. Right. <laughs> to the, to like, she's like, no, this is. He reposted it actually. <laughs> she was like, this is real Bob Mackie. And everybody was like, oh, oh excuse me, <laughs> pardon me. But I, uh, but I, it's I, I watched her like get in her head about it, and I, and I could sort of a little bit relate because I think when you grow up in a very traditional Asian home. And you know, there's that stereotype of Chinese people being good at math or Asian people being good at math. I think it's because we are taught in our culture there's a right and wrong way to do something. Yeah. Which is which I think was really hard for me. Just as a young artist, I felt like, oh, there's a there's a right way to do a scene or a right way to do a song and a and a wrong way. So you're constantly in fear of making mistakes. Like I do a ton of teaching and I and I and I know when I go to teach kids in Japan. That's like one of the biggest differences is that, you know, in America, you, we grew up and we go, we celebrate everybody's individuality. Yeah. And, in, and in Japan, I felt like they were constantly asking me as like the sensei, as the teacher, like, what's the right way to do this song? Mm. And, it's, it's, and I think it's like always a big light bulb moment when I say to them, there is no right. Like, you know, the only time I ever feel like something feels quote unquote wrong to me is when I feel like there's a performer being inauthentic on stage. And if you're trying to be, someone else if you're trying to be the right you know the right anita well listen there's only one cheetah rivera right. and there's and she's a star because there's only one cheetah We are not done, but we are very close. Um, Atali, take it out. Oh my God. The lips are effort. They make me talk different. <laughs> See what I mean? Like when you have lips like that, you just want to say things in a different way. Share? You just, you just, you just, you just don't want to even speak. You have a different. It's a, a, it's like, a little right? Eliza. It doesn't <laughs> feel like it doesn't necessarily feel like I, sh I should be talking with my, with lips that are this narrow. The, the makeup is doing the work. You don't have to. <laughs> wow. I, um, wow. It's pretty amazing. The lips. Yeah. The lips, the lips make everything. Oh my gosh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a drag queen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? I am so excited. We are ready. I love how this turned out. This is like exactly what I imagined, and then. A little bit of a newscaster, but that'll change for the photo shoot. Um, are you ready, Tell I'm ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, wait. Remember your name again? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Miss Linda Lomaine. Oh my gosh. Wait, get, get a little closer. I'm gonna give myself a Beyonce pen. Uh, uh, I can't. Do you live? I can't. Who am I? I don't know who I am. Pixie. 
Actually, I'm living. <laughs> Pixie, who is this? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my god. No, this is actually. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Got each other. Next up. Joe with the traffic. <laughs> You're like. Oh wow. Pixie. This is stunning. Pixie, you did a. The eyes are unbelievable. And the lips, like, I. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, that the lips like make me feel like a whole different person. This color hair looks good on you too. Oh, red. I'm a red. Finally, I'm a redhead. And you're a redhead. I'm a redhead. So that's uh, that's a little um, an homage to ben Bernadette Peters and um, Deborah. Deborah Messi. Very. This is very Deborah Messi. Yeah. Absolutely. Linda Lomain. Linda Lomain. And Linda Lowe from Flower Drum Song. Yes. It's... I'm a girl, and by me, that's only great. Hey, hey. <laughs> I am proud that my silhouette is curvy. Uh, no, you look so fit. Wow. You look I, fit. Yeah. Well, it's so funny. We were talking about drag names before and how, you know, Pixie Aventure is like your pet and the street name. Mm -hmm. But like, my, I grew up in New York where my street was um, a 78th street. But, oh, but, but we had a West Side girl. No, Brooklyn 78th street. Oh. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Don't get it twisted. But we had fish, but we didn't name the fish. So actually, my drag name would have been Fish 78. Oh, okay. Fish 78. Fish 78. You can catch it on 78th Street. <laughs> Cut the fish on 78th Street. Oh my gosh. Hi. Wow. I feel pretty. You feel pretty? I feel so pretty. Pixie. You do look, you look fish. Well, Pixie, you did it. Did I drag you out? Pixie, you dragged me out. Yeah. <laughs> and catch the news later tonight at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, I'm actually excited for this photo wow. shoot now. I'm, ama I'm amazed. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This, is, this has been fun. You are my first Asian daughter on here. That's right. Yes. Oh my gosh. And remember, share, subscribe, and enjoy. See you next time. You know what I'm gonna call my Jasmine. Oh, it's perfect. She's like, who's Jasmine now? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you look incredible.